What up, what up, what up? What's poping snake gang? It's your boy, Fan Lake Man, but you already know we're in the building, bro. We're in the building, man, in the building, man. You don't want to mess with me, man. Don't want to mess with me. Yo, guys, some witchcraft was happening yesterday. I was trying to record the session, but I couldn't record. I think it's only recorded like two minutes, then the network went out. Our students at the, the, the live trading will tell you what was happening yesterday, but nonetheless, you already know we ate. So guys, uh, I'm gonna just um, do a breakdown as to how we got the market and how we took our entry and how the market reacted after that. So starting from my US 30 setup. Okay guys, before I can even go down to deep details, make sure that you subscribe, you like the video and drop the comment as to what you think about this video. And then yeah, let's get to it, let's get to it. Share some love guys and also share this video with your friends at home because of, I'm about to drop some plugging. So guys, on 15 minute time frame, pretty, pretty nice and simple. You wanna keep it everything simple. So on 15 minute time frame, you wanna identify your key levels, which is your support and resistance. People like to complicate things and say, supply and demand, still fine. Or they say, other blogs, still fine, man. I really don't care. But nonetheless, guys, you can see that we have this level of uh, we have this level of um we have these key levels that I'm just putting here. Just so simple for me to, to spot out these key levels because of like I've been doing this for some quite a time now. So I can easily spot these areas. And by just looking at market structure, I can see that uh, here we had this impulses to the upside and then we started to develop structure. So every time a price leaves a structure, it's leaving what? It's leaving a, a, key, a key or important key area. Someone will say they are close, but uh, it's how we're trading them. And my strategy allows me to uh, make them so close like this because of we are trading half a straight guys. We're not uh, just doing other things. So um, going to my five minute time frame. So on my five minute time frame, guys, I wanna draw what I wanna draw my zones. So I'm just gonna start here. I have this key here that is here at the top, and then I'm just gonna re uh, delete this. So guys, it all goes down to you here. What you prefer? You can still take the uh, candlestick week, or you can take the body of the candle. It still goes down to what you prefer. But I prefer body stick, uh, uh, kind of stick body instead of <laughs> kind of stick weeks. Uh, so here, just gonna take this one, super, super nice and simple, as you can see. Then I'm gonna remove this. And then here, I'm just gonna take this one, pretty, pretty nice and simple. Then I'm gonna remove this. And then here, I'm gonna take this one, this last green candle here. It's a little bit big. So I'm just gonna take this last. So you can see, I'm gonna remove this. And then here, I'm just gonna take this one, super, super nice and simple. And I'm gonna remove this. And then uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. And let's see here, I'm gonna take this one. Here, I'm gonna take, okay guys, some, some text that is telling me. Here, I'm gonna take this one, and then I'm gonna remove this. So let me just see from, uh, okay, we do have another uh, key error that is a little bit more far from us, but uh, is here. So you can see guys, that we have this key error that is here. So you can see guys, that I've identified all my key errors on what, on, um, on US 30. So time was still about uh, 10 past three. So we're still just waiting. Because remember guys, we're only calling the trade at half past what? Half past three. So uh, on NASDAQ, I really don't do much of analysis on NASDAQ. I only see uh, where NASDAQ is heading to. So that will only help me with one thing to see if a US state is gonna continue pushing to that direction or US state is gonna reverse. So you can see that uh, NASDAQ is pushing to the downside and then US state is pushing to the upside. I always say this guys, these two at half past three, they normally don't move in the same direction, but the weakest one uh, tend to always follow the stronger one. So now I'm just gonna click on the replay button. So you can see that uh, guys, we saw that it got a pass. Uh, NASDAQ was just playing, uh, US state was just playing here. And then you can see that eventually it was trying to break this level of resistance, but it failed to break at 20 pass. Uh, let's see. Whoa, guys, you saw that at 20 pass, it did break above this uh, level of what? Of resistance. So you can see that we did break above. Tried to break this resistance, but we couldn't break. We failed. And then uh, we pushed to the downside as well. Tried to break this era to the downside, but we couldn't break these eras as well. So this was about 25 pass. So uh, this was the close of the candle. So when the market uh, half past three was hit, and then we call the buy, guys. So when half past three was hit, we call the buy before this candle. Before this candle. Just before this candle, guys, we call the buy. When this uh, candlestick closed, we call the buy somewhere here. This is somewhere here we called a buy. We called it by somewhere here. And then the next candlestick 
came. Uh, we were just running in small profit here. Price did push to the upside, but we can see that it failed to break this resistance, couldn't close above this area here. So we're just like, okay, guys, because we did break our and close above this uh, level of resistance here. So this is a nice good sign. So let's just uh, hold this position and see how it's gonna go. Remember guys, we also modify our trades or not on our 15 minute time frame. So you can see that uh, we are pushing a little bit more uh, hard. And then the next kind of stick that came guys, it just rolled over to the upside, super, super, super nice and simple. So at that time guys, I was also monitoring uh, NASDAQ to see how is NASDAQ uh, going guys. So you can see that NASDAQ was just playing before this is 20 past. 25 pass and then you can see that Nasdaq did what shoot to the downside while we steady shoot to the upside as I always say guys that the weakest one will always follow but at half past three they don't move uh, in same direction because of we have to remember these two guys they have what uh, positive correlation so you steady continue guys to shoot to the upside made new all-time highs guys so you said made new all-time highs guys so that was super super nice and uh and amazing i think it was somewhere here if i can just go to my daily time frame if i can just go to my daily time frame you're gonna see guys that we did break above this new uh this uh, all-time highs because this was the previous all-time highs so we did break above it yeah so this was super super nice and simple but you can see that now Price is uh, reversing. Um, yeah, price is reversing. Uh, yeah, so it is what it is, though, guys. We're not there. But then looking at NASDAQ, we saw guys that NASDAQ shot to the downside and then reverse. Because guys, I always say that the weakest one always do what? Always follow. So you can see that NASDAQ will always follow, uh, in this case, not always, in this case, NASDAQ did follow US state to the upside because of it was US state that was stronger than NASDAQ, but sometimes it's NASDAQ that is stronger than US state, so they follow each other. So yeah, that was it guys today uh, about uh, yesterday's, um, that was it guys about yesterday's live uh, session. So we killed this week. We are still running at 100% win rate, no loss at all. Super, super nice and simple. Monday, we didn't take a trade. It was like a break even. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, that's when we killed the market. So thank you so much guys for staying and tuning in. Make sure that you drop a comment and you share this video with your friends and also like this video guys give this video a thumbs up it's me your boy fella can remember i'm out of the building let it be peace in the middle east let our brothers and sisters be safe